Hello everyone and welcome to Newswire, where we share the top news stories of the week. Um, so to start off, I'm going to look at a particular walrus that fell asleep and found itself in Kerry, which is definitely uh, the break from all the coronavirus coverage we've had over the last few weeks. Um, so basically, this walrus, who Manny can relate to after a heavy Zoom call, fell asleep, uh, most likely in Greenland, and found itself uh, near Valencia Island in Kerry. Um, not where walruses are usually found. Um, its location was not disclosed for a long time because um, people and experts were afraid that it would attract tourists to the area and people trying to take the all important Instagram story. Um, since then, the, wa- the walrus has been spotted in Wales, so it has made its travels once again. And yeah, over to Valerie. Thanks for that, Roisin. And now I'm going to talk about the Grammys 2021 that happened just over the weekend. The 63rd annual Grammys Awards show took place on March the 14th and was for the first time held part socially distanced and part virtually. It was hosted by The Daily Show's Trevor Noah and despite the obvious challenges this year due to the coronavirus pandemic, what with no audience, etc., the show still managed to have an almost four hour runtime. Some of the biggest wins of the night was Taylor Swift winning Album of the Year for Folklore and Billie Eilish winning Record of the Year with Everything I Wanted. Beyonce broke the record for a female artist with the most Grammy wins, coming to a total of 28 after last weekend's show. And other winners included Harry Styles, Dua Lipa, Ariana Grande, John Legend and Megan Thee Stallion. Some of the highlights of this year's differently formatted show included the baby's rather over-the-top performance of his hit song Rockstar with a Gospel Choir, Ariana Grande tweeting at Lady Gaga, telling her to wake up when they won the award for best pop duo slash group performance after she had already apparently fallen asleep, and Dua Lipa's usual questionable dance moves during her performance at the show. The Grammys have been under fire for the past number of years due to their lack of diversity in nominating black artists as well as female artists. Many artists have criticised the awards show for their lack of recognition where it is truly deserved as well as common incorrect category nominations. Some examples include Drake's hit Hotline Bling winning Best Rap Song in 2017 despite having no rap in it, singer Halsey calling out the Academy this year to be more transparent after having not been nominated for anything, and Tyler the Creator taking on the Best Rap Album in 2020 for Igor, a record that is not really categorised as rap. This year, another boycott came from none other than The Weeknd himself. After not being nominated for anything, despite his album After Hours being the second most streamed album on the planet in 2020 and his single Blinding Lights breaking countless records, he has said that he will no longer allow his label to submit his music to the Grammys and he is not alone. This year's Grammys seem to promise some change or modernisation to the seemingly obsolete awards show with the lowest ratings they've ever had this year. However, it is obvious that they still have a long way to go in creating a show that celebrates all artists based purely on their talents and work and not on any prejudices or bias. Thanks, Valerie. And for our final news story this week on Newswire TV, I'm covering the updates on the vaccine rollout in Ireland. Minister for Health Stephen Donnelly made a statement in the Dáil this week after heavy criticism of the Irish government on the slow rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine. In the statement, Minister for Health Stephen Donnelly said that four in every five adults in Ireland are to be offered one to two doses by the end of June if pharmaceutical companies adhere to the delivery commitments promised. By the end of March, 1.1 million doses of vaccines from the three different companies supplying vaccines in Ireland are to be received, with a fourth company under the name of Janssen starting to supply vaccines come April. Currently, people aged 70 and above are receiving the vaccine, along with those who are at high risk or those who are immunocompromised, along with cancer patients. More transmissible variants have kept the cases high daily, according to Minister for Health Stephen Donnelly. Minister for Health Stephen Donnelly also acknowledged that the public now feel very frustrated and that the pandemic will never end. But he explained that the end is truly in sight. That's all for this week on Newswire. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.